Hello children, welcome to my Maths Teacher YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss algebraic fractions in grade 10. Here I discussed simplifying algebraic fractions under two categories. First one is with unequal algebraic terms in the denominator. Other one is unequal algebraic expressions in the denominator. First, I am going to discuss unequal algebraic terms in the denominator. Look at this example here. You are given two algebraic fractions to add. 5 over x add 2 over 3x. You know, if the denominators are unequal, we cannot add them. We have to obtain common denominator. How do we obtain the common denominator? Can you remember in previous lesson, we have learned LCA. We have to obtain the LCM of this unequal denominators. Here, x and 3x. We have to factorize. x times 1, 3. 3 times 1, x times 1. LCM is 3x. Now, here, 5 over x. To obtain the 3x, we have to multiply it. Now, common denominator is 3x. To obtain the 3x, we have to multiply it. Denominator and numerator by 3. Here, the 3x not want to multiply by any number. So, here, the common denominator 3x. 3 into 5, 15. Here, add 2. 15 add 2, 17. Denominator is 3x. The answer is 17 over 3x. Now let's see another example here. 2m over 3n subtract mn over 6n square add 5m squared over 4mn. Now here we have to obtain the LCM of 3n, 6n squared and 4mn. 3n, 3 into n. 6n, 2 into 1, 3 into 1, n squared. 2 into 2, 4 into m to the power 1 into n to the power 1. LCM is 2 square into 3 to the power 1 into m to the power 1 into n square. 2 to the power 2, 4, 4 into 3, 12 m n square. Here, now common denominator 12 m n square. To obtain a 12 m n square. 3n we have to multiply it by 4mn to obtain a 12n. Here, numerator also multiplied by 4mn. Here, subtract mn over 6n square. Here, to obtain 12m square, to obtain 12 6 multiplied by 2. Then think about algebraic term mn square. n square is here. So we have to multiply it by n. 2n. Here 5m squared over 4mn. Now think about the numerals 4. 4 we have to multiply it by 3. Then 12. m is here. Then to obtain n squared we have to multiply it by n. Then 3n. Now our common denominator is. 12 m n square. Here 2 m into 4 m n. We can obtain 2 into 4 a m squared a. Here coefficient is 1. 1 into 2, 2. 2 m n square. 2 m n square. Here 5 m squared into 3 a. 5 into 3, 15 m squared a. Now we have to simplify like terms. Are there like terms? Yes. 8m squared n and 15m squared n. So we can simplify them. 8m squared. Let's bring them closer. 2m squared n plus 15m squared n. Subtract 2m n squared. Over 12m n squared. 8 at 15. Answer is 23m squared n minus 2mn squared over 12mn squared. Is it the final answer? No. 
we can factorize them. What are the factors? Here you can see m and n are the factors. We take m n out of brackets. Then here 23 m subtract 2 n over 12 m n square. Now we can cut m m n this n for 1 n. So the final answer is 23 m subtract 2n over 12 n. Clear? I this I think these two examples are enough for to understand how do we simplify algebraic fraction with unequal algebraic terms in the denominator. Now let's go to next part. Now let's learn unequal binomial expressions in the denominator of the algebraic fraction. Here 1 over y subtract 1 over y plus 3. Now, denominators are not equal. So, we have to obtain the LCM. Now, you know how do we obtain the LCM. y and y plus 3. The LCM of y and y plus 3 is y times y plus 3. Now, here to obtain the y into y times y plus 3, we have to multiply it by y plus 3 both numerator and denominator. Then y, 1 multiplied by y plus 3, answer is y plus 3. Subtract here, the missing term. When we consider here, the y is the missing term. So we have to multiply it by y. Then 1 into y, y. So simply y, y subtract y. Can, the terms are cancelled. So the answer is 3 over y times y plus 3. Very easy example. Let's see next one. A minus 2 over A square minus 4 add 3 over A plus 2. Here. Now, before finding the LCM, here we, have, we can factorize this. How? A minus 2 over A minus 2 A plus 2. Difference of 2 squares. We can try and see A square minus 2 square. Here. Plus 3 over a plus 2. Keep in your mind, before finding the LCM, we have to factorize. Now you know LCM of a minus 2, a plus 2 and a plus 2 is a minus 2, a plus 2. Now here, all the terms are there. So not want to multiply it by any term. Look at here, there is only a plus 2. So we have to multiply Numerator and denominator by, by a minus 2. Then 3 multiplied by a minus 2. Let's multiply 3 times a, 3a. 3 times minus 2, minus 6. Let's bring like terms closer. a plus 3a. Here minus 2, minus 6. a minus 2, a plus 2. a plus 3a. 4a minus 2 minus 6 then minus 8. Here a minus 2 a plus 2. Look at this. This is not the final example. Final answer. We can factorize this further. The 4 is the factor. When we take 4 out of brackets, 4 times a minus 2 over a minus 2 times a plus 2. Here a minus 2 a minus 2. We can remove this. Then the final answer is 4 over a plus 2. Let's see another example. 3x over x squared plus 5x plus 6 subtract 1 over x plus 3. First of all, we have to factorize that. 3x over, you know the factors of x squared plus 5x plus 6 is x plus 3 times x plus 2. Subtract 1 over x plus 3. Then we have to obtain the LCM. The LCM is x plus 3 times x plus 2. Here all the terms are there. So we have to write 3x. Not want to multiply it by any term. Here x, only x plus 3 is there. We have to multiply it by x plus 2. Both numerator and denominator. Then we obtain we have to 
sim when we simplify we obtain 1 into x here keep in your mind there is negative sign 1 into x x 1 into plus 2 plus 2 then let's simplify 3x 3x then we have to remove the bracket minus times x minus x minus times plus 2 minus 2 here x plus 3 x plus 2 3x minus x 2x minus 2 over x plus 3 or times x plus 2 now this is not the final answer here we can factorize this expression further 2 is the factor then x minus when we take two outer brackets 2 times x minus 2 over x plus 3 x plus 2 we cannot simplify further this is the final answer here next one 2 over y minus 1 add 3 over 1 minus y square here there is a relation can you remember when we learning when we were learning LCM of algebraic expression we have learned y minus 1 squared equal 1 minus y squared. We have to remind that. Here let's see how do we solve. 2 over y minus 1. Here we can write 1 minus y squared as y minus 1 according to this rule because this term is y minus 1 no? that's why we can write y 1 minus y square now you know the lcm of y minus here y minus 1 lama here y minus 1 y minus 1 square now you know lcm of these two terms are y minus 1 square here the missing term y to obtain y minus 1 squared, we have to multiply it by y minus 1. Then 2 times y, 2y minus 2 plus 3. Then we simplify minus 2 plus 3. The answer 2y plus 1. Here y minus 1 squared. You have to keep this rule in your mind. Now, let's learn another example. Here, this example is very useful to your examination. Most of the time, the, like this question now on exam papers. 3 over x minus 1 subtract 2 over 1 minus x. As in previous question, there is a relation. Here, x minus 1, 1 minus x. Can you remember? x minus 1. Here, 1 minus x. Here, that 1 minus x can be written as x minus 1 when we take in minus 1 out of brackets. Here 1 minus x can be written minus 1 times x minus 1. That rule is used here. Here 3 over x minus 1. We write here 1 minus x as minus 1 times x minus 1. That is an important thing. If we solve you see keep in 1 minus x, the answer is wrong. Now, the, it has same denominators. Now, what do we do for this minus 1? Here, we take minus 1 to here. In this way, 3 over x minus 1. We think there is a minus 2. Then, minus 2 divided by minus 1, positive 2. Here, x minus 1. If there is a positive 2, positive 2 divided by minus 1, here the sign is negative 2. Now here negative 2. Now we can simplify. Both denominators are equal. x minus 1 is the common denominator. 3 add to 5. Very easy to simplify but you have to if, uh, use that rule here. Now I think this Five examples are enough for you to get enough knowledge about how to simplify algebraic fraction with unequal binomial expressions in the denominator. 
Now the lesson algebraic fraction is over. If these lessons are useful to you, please subscribe my channel and share with your friends as well as click the bell icon to get the future videos. Let's meet in another lesson. Goodbye children.